So hi, this is Lou, welcome to my channel. And in today's video, I'm going to talk a little bit about bullet journaling and show you my setup for October. Now, I've been doing this for about a year, but I haven't really documented it. I've posted a couple on Instagram, but I really wanted to know whether it was something that I'd get into and whether it was something that I'd find useful before I started to share these with the world. Um, if you're not interested in bullet journaling, then hopefully there are some illustration and some uh, some fun drawing techniques that you can apply to other projects. But for those of you who don't know, a bullet journal is essentially, it's a, like a cross between a diary and a to-do list, but you make all the pages yourself. So it's uh, really flexible, so you can make the pages look and uh, function how you want them to. So I've done a really simple one for October. I've done a cover page and I've been doing this uh, negative space theme for all of the months in this year's journal. So every month has a kind of a blank letter that uh, shows you the name of the month. So I've got O for October here. And then I've got this kind of lace doily, spirally, mandala -y design behind, and I'm going to show you how I did that. So I've got a pair of compasses that I'm going to use. I've got a pencil and a rubber. And then these are the two pens I'm going to be using today. So I've got a fine liner. Uh, you can use anything you like. I like these Unipin ones. And this is uh, 0.4. And then this is a brush marker. And it's actually a really kind of pale grey. It looks kind of creamy coloured on the top. But actually it's a really kind of pale and kind of warmish grey. So I'll start by drawing a guide for the cover page illustration. So these cover pages, they're just decorative and I find it a nice way of kind of getting into thinking about my planning for the month uh, by doing a little bit of a drawing exercise. And I'm marking out a grid for this because I'm going to use a, a mandala as the basic design. So I draw the circle with the uh, compasses and then keeping the width the same, draw this kind of daisy shape by moving the point to the circumference and, and drawing a little sweeping arc. And then I move the uh, the circle inwards uh, a centimetre each time and draw a series of concentric circles. Now, as I mentioned, I'm doing a negative space design with the initial letter of each month. So I want like an oval for the O because I want it to look a little bit different to the circle shapes. And I've marked in like the bottoms and the sides and then I'm just drawing it by hand and fixing it if I get it a little bit wrong. And then I want it narrow at the bottom and wider on the sides. And I'll just keep working at that shape with my pencil until I'm happy that it's nice and symmetrical. Now for any mandala design, what I do is I'd start in the centre and then however many segments my mandala is uh, separated into, and in this case it's six because we've used that daisy pattern using the compasses, which divides the circle nicely into six. And then I make a mark in the centre. And then whatever mark I make, I make the same in all of the other segments. For this one, I'm using these little spiral shapes. And it's something that I may come to regret because I'm enjoying it at this stage, but I know that it's going to be really hard to keep track of later on. For this design, after I've done uh, a couple of layers of little spirals that all join together, I'm uh, enclosing them all in a solid little outline. You'll see why I do that later on. And then I just keep drawing spirals. And as I go around, I try and remember uh, which way I drew the spirals. Were they clockwise ones or anti-clockwise ones? And I try and use the uh, the guidelines that I've put in pencil to keep them the same size. But as you'll see as this drawing goes on, and as I've already done, it's really hard to uh, keep them like that. So sometimes you have a small spiral, and then on the other side it'll be a really big one. But if I uh, use those uh, concentric circles as a guideline, then I can always rectify that. So if I do a small spiral on uh, one round, then I know I can do a slightly bigger one the next time and it'll bring it back to kind of being an even shape overall. Now at this point I definitely go off 
and I start drawing spirals in the wrong place. Uh, but that's okay. I can fix it quite easily. I just need to, uh, when I add in more spirals, just kind of stretch some of them and make some of them a little bit smaller and I can bring it back to center. Now I'm getting up to the pencil O that I drew and what I want to do is just stop when I get to that point. So I just imagine that the spiral is, is going past the O, but I just don't draw it. If you find this a bit complicated, what you can do is you can draw those spirals that go over the O with a pencil first, and then go over them with pen when you're happy with them. So I'm just going to keep drawing spirals and filling in my shape, and I will let you watch along. I think there should be a prize for spotting how many mistakes I make. So now I've got as many spirals in there as, well, as my brain can cope with, as many as I want. And those solid lines that I put in, I'm now going to add a little bit of definition. And I'm going to take my brush marker and just go around the outside of those solid lines that I put around my spiral shapes. And as I fill them in, it starts to separate them and make them look like they're on different levels and like there's a shadow between the different levels. And I really like this effect. I think it, it it kind of, it makes it look nice and 3D and it brings it to life a little bit. So that's my cover page all done, and now it's on to a bit of a more practical page. And I like to include a calendar. It doesn't need to be very big, so I've just used these little square boxes that are uh, three of the squares, three of the dots, grids in my journal uh, wide. I don't use this uh, for like keeping track of too many things. I just like to mark in it when I've uploaded a video or if there's a special day, like a birthday or something, I put that in here. One of the common mistakes I make is always to start numbering on the wrong day of the week. So I always double check before I put that in. And I'm very definitely a week begins on Monday kind of person. Now, don't adjust anything. Uh, I haven't played this backwards. 
if I need to write something that's aligned to the right hand side of the page, I write the word back to front. It helps me uh, keep it right. As long as it's a short enough word, I can usually manage to spell it okay. Now I've just started adding in a little section for goals of the month. And this is something that I've found really helpful just at the beginning of the month to think about what kind of thing I want to focus on. So for last month, uh, it was really simple and it was just about finding some new healthy recipes to try out. So, uh, so yes, that was one of the things I included last month and I have done that. And so I'll have a think about October and think about what kind of things I might like to, to do this month as well. And then I'm decorating the empty space on this page. I'll probably go a bit too far, <laughs> but I'm, again, I'm using these spirals, but this time I'm going free form. I'm not um, sticking to a grid or a pattern or anything. I'm just going where the mood takes me. Again, I'm using that outline to go around my shapes occasionally, just to give them some definition. So I am going to get completely carried away with these spiral designs and start filling the whole page. And they start out quite nice and compact and bunched up. And then I really get into it and start making them long and stringy and, and straggly. Uh, but I quite like that look. And I will go in with the grey marker pen and give those a little bit of a shadow as well. Just to uh, give this design a little bit more of a, a 3D effect. Sometimes I add in extra pages into the month for things I want to keep track of. Uh, but for this month, I wanted to keep it really simple and I'm just moving straight on to my weekly layout. So there'll be four of these for October. I start um, on the 5th for October because the uh, the 1st to the 4th ended up at the end of September. Um, so I'm only including four weeks in the month in here. And I like to have eight sections one for each day of the week, plus a spare. That's because in a week I will have some things that I know I want to fit in certain days. And then uh, there'll be lots of jobs that could happen any day of the week. And I'll just put them in the eighth section. I really wanted to carry on the spiral theme um, so I've just drawn my numbers and then surrounded them with a few little curly spirals. And I'm only going to show you one week, but I will be doing uh, several of these. And then again, I'm using my grey pen and just adding a little bit of a, a low light, a shadow underneath the uh, underneath the lines and on the letters, just just kind of makes them stand out a little bit.
So thanks so much for watching today. I really hope that you've enjoyed this. If you did, and if this is something that you'd like to see more of, then please give it a like or a thumbs up or a, a, put a comment down below. And that just helps me know whether I should be making more of these or whether um, this is something that you're interested in. Um, if you uh, want to see more videos like this, um, I do all sorts of different art making and sewing videos, then uh, please do subscribe to my channel. So thanks very much. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.